Hello guys. In this video you are going to see Genset Controller function keys how do they work and how to operate a generator. Genset Controller is used to control the functioning of the Genset system. A Genset Controller provides various monitoring functions of a Genset, monitoring of various electrical parameters like voltage, current, frequency, power etc. It also has capability to measure the temperature, oil pressure etc. In this video, I'm going to talk about key function of Power Wizard 1.1. There are 15 keys first, I want to introduce them and later we are going to learn about their functions. So let's start with AC Overview Key. This is the AC Overview Key. Next Engine Overview Key. Main Menu or Home Key. There is Alarm Acknowledge Key. Event Reset Key. Event Log Key. Run Key. Auto key. Stop key. Escape key. Up key. Down key. Right key. Left key. OK or enter key. Here at right side of the panel these keys called event keys and indicators. These three keys are the control keys. These keys called function key and finally these are the navigation keys. Before starting or running the generator set, the operator should become fully acquainted with the control module's display and push buttons. The display should be observed from time to time while the generator set is running so that any abnormal readings can be detected before problems arise. I'm going to start with control keys please look closer. Pressing the run key will cause the engine to enter the run mode. Now the engine is running. Pressing the stop key will cause the engine to enter stop mode. After cool down the engine will stop. Pressing the auto key will cause the engine to enter the auto mode. If you have connected with grid, you are gonna use auto mode the generator will be used as a backup. AC Overview Key, the AC Overview Key will navigate the display to the first screen of AC information. The AC Overview information contains various AC parameters that summarize the electrical operation of the generator set. Use the up-down keys to navigate within the AC parameters. Engine Overview Key, the Engine Overview Key will navigate the display to the first screen of engine information. The engine overview information contains various engine parameters that summarize the operation of the generator set. Use the up-down keys to navigate within the engine parameters. Main menu key, the main menu key will navigate the display to the main menu screen. Pressing the navigation keys will allow access to menus at all levels. Scroll up. The scroll up key is used to navigate up through the various menus or monitoring screens. The scroll up key is also used during set point entry. During numeric data entry the scroll up key is used to increment the digits 0 to 9. Scroll down. The scroll down key is used to navigate down through the various menus or monitoring screens. Scroll left. The scroll left key is used during set point adjustment. During numeric data entry, the scroll left key is used to choose which digit is being edited. The scroll right key is used during set point adjustment. During numeric data entry, the scroll right key is used to choose which digit is being edited. Enter or OK. The enter key is used during menu navigation to select menu items in order to navigate forward or downward in the menu or sub-menu structure. The enter key is also used during set point programming in order to save set point changes. Pressing the enter key during set point programming causes set point changes to be saved to memory. Event reset key. Pressing the event reset key will reset all events when the control is in the stop position.
The control is in stop mode. Now we're going to press the event reset key. See here. Reset all events. If you'd like to cancel press escape key. I'm going to press OK key. You are going to see at the screen what caused the generator shutdown. Event log key. Pressing the event log key will navigate to the active events menu. Genset control. We are going to press the OK key. Generator control not in auto warning. This generator is not in auto mode. It is in stop mode, I'm going to scroll down. There are 21 events. The second event is emergency stop. The emergency stop key button was pressed recently.